So you're unhappy with your vision after your cataract surgery. Uh, I'm really sorry about that. Most people are really happy. It all depends on how bad the cataract was in the first place and whether you've got other conditions as well. If the cataract was mild, then the upside is always going to be quite small compared to somebody who's got a very dense cataract. And we've all heard friends of ours who have taken the pad off or the shield off the next day and went, wow, amazing vision. And I love those sort of patients. The denser the cataract is, the happier I am because I know they're going to improve an awful lot. If you've got a mild cataract, the upside is less and you can be disappointed and wonder, well, why did we fuss around with it? Thankfully, the cataract's gone and will never come back again. You can get, develop a clouding in the lens that requires laser, but the cataract itself never comes back again. If you've got concurrent medical problems, then you can be disappointed as well. If you've got age-related macular degeneration, which is the most common thing, it means the back of the eye is worn. And if you imagine a camera, regardless of how clever a lens you put at the front, if the film at the back isn't working properly, you're not going to get a good image. So in patients who have coexistent macular degeneration, we sometimes give them what we call a garland prognosis, which means we're not going to know exactly how much we improve them by. If the cataract is 90% responsible for the poor vision and the macula 10%, then we'll make a big improvement for them. If it's the other way around and it's 90% macula and 10% cataract, we will not make a massive improvement for them. So we need to know why your vision is poor. Was it because of a pre-existing thing? Sometimes things don't go to plan and we get complications, but we tell you about it. You know, these complications do happen. If you have an operation, you have to accept there can be complications. And if there's a specific cause for your poor vision afterwards, then hopefully we can do something about it. The cornea can swell, you can get problems with the retina coming away, the retina can swell, so it's important you're fully assessed. If it's you're unhappy with your vision without spectacles on, then sadly that is the case sometimes, and there's another video which really explains that to you a little bit more. So we need to know the cause for your dissatisfaction. If you've had a premium lens, and we aimed, and the emphasis is on aimed, and not promised, to try and give you distance and intermediate and near vision, then, you know, we sometimes achieve it and we sometimes don't. And it's important to know that, that there's no guarantee. There are inaccuracies within the calculation, so the lens power that pings out and the answer and says, put this into the patient's eye and you'll be fine, may not work for you. And sadly, there isn't much we can do about that. When I say that, there are, some, there are occasions whereby we can change lenses, but going back into the eye is never really plan A. So the reason your poor vision, your, your, your vision's poor, may be for a variety of reasons. But you know, you're going privately for your surgery. You wanted the best possible outcome. If you didn't achieve what you wanted, then discuss it with your surgeon. And we're open to see you again, and open to, to, to discuss things with you. But it is vital that you have realistic expectations. See your optician, see whether they can sharpen you up. And if you're happy with that vision, then yes, unfortunately, you do have to wear spectacles to some degree. But then again, that was always the chance with any form of cataract surgery.